I did not touch your hurt. You fools are making this worse. I could start with the dead cows. Bite marks, but not from any beast I know. And the corpse is covered in strange mold. Though the wounds are fresh. Blood still wet as dew. Where does it lead? By the gods. What manner of beast flung that poor creature up here to its doom? A Jotun did this! What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Whoever's onto a rooftop? That little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes. Or... Discuss these clues with Wolf Hilda.
the wolves get a bite of you? No. I'm unhurt. Thank you, Dane. I misjudged you. No need. But tell me what happened. The beasts came scavenging for fresh meat. I meant, why are you out here with the dead cattle again? I'm searching for my best milch cow. She's missing. And you found her? No. But I found a Danish axe. It belongs to Rothgar, leader of the war band. You know for a fact this axe is his? Yes. He brandishes it about the village, demanding ale. I will speak to this Rothgar and his warband. Woman is certain a nearby band of warriors caused these maulings. We have no other clues. I know the men she means. They're staying at the church near Brisleek Farm. Come, meet them. Their leader, Hrothgar, is a great man for a heathen. He is no cattle killer. You have curious opinions, Wilhilda, and an uncommonly open mind. I should say the same of you. Most heathens would point to witchcraft or monsters, but you seek an earthly cause. I have seen many strange things, but the answers are usually close at hand, if only hidden. True. Yet in this case, the Church has tasked me to explain the unexplainable. That, at times, introduces... unholy ideas. And your Church accepts your unholy ideas? They tolerate it. Lucifer is a deceiver, and God himself works in mysterious ways. So I too must remain open to all possibilities. Mundane and otherworldly. Which is why you tolerate a heathen like me. Perhaps. Or perhaps all of us, heathen and Christian, stand within the folds of a greater mystery. Something's off, Eivor. Hrothgar's men are rowdy sorts, but the air is far too still. Stand back, Priestess. This is war work. <laughs> Hrothgar and his men, they... they were good to me. Have a care, Hilda. The killer may yet linger here. Their leader, Rothgar. I do not see him among the dead. I shall find him. <laughs> see, more fresh mold. Same as in the fields on the cars. The villagers say it is the devil's mark. What do you say, Eivor? I say find the mold, and we find our killer. The same marks as before. Bite marks and mauling. These are not weapon wounds. What manner of demon can fell so many well-armed warriors? Eivor, look up. More blood. Someone crawled into the loft. Or drag the body up there. <laughs> back you. Back I say. Huh? You are Rothgar, leader of this warband. I am. A Finnmark raider and proud of it. For the little time I have left, 
I bear ill news. Your warriors have fallen. Who or what did this awful thing? The monster did this thing. It killed us while laughing. Laughing! It broke my axe and gouged me. I... <coughs> I crawled up here to die. <coughs> what was it? Did you see? A foul Jotun. A nightgoer from the world's rim. It spoke. Named itself Grendel. Said it would return. <coughs> Good. We shall wait for it to come back, you and I. Not I. My wounds are too great and my spirit takes ship. Send them to Hilheim. For me. Ride with the winged women, friend. I will handle this Grendel. Whatever manner of monster it may be. Wait. Warrior. There were... Two... Best hide. To not scare the demon off when it returns. We will wait up here for it to show itself again. Get your rest, warrior. I... Well, Vilda, still, something stirs. Right. What manner of monster is that thing? Not a monster, but a man. Strange to behold, but this... Grendel is... was... a man. But where did it come from? All men have mothers. This one called out for his in the end. And all of us. Even the most hideous have souls. O oh Lord, forgive this man his sins, and grant unto him your grace and everlasting love. Mold everywhere. Stay here, Wilfilda. I'll follow this trail.
swims with fever dreams. What just happened? Randall! Randall! Is that you? Answer me! A key? So fitting. Yet, what use is a key when... No luck. <coughs> you smell like my son. My son's blood! about the Danes. To protect my boy. He never meant to hurt anyone. But the others, they could not see. He, he kept growing in body, but not in mind. He was my boy. Sweet little Brenda. The builder must know the truth of this. A4, you live yet. Pray, tell all. I slew a monster that was but a man. Then I tracked his mother and killed her too. His mother? She struck at me in the dark and I defended myself. But it was no hero's deed. Those poor souls. I shall pray for them tonight at Barking Abbey. Leaving already? I must. The bishop is eager for a full accounting of the Beast of East Anglia. Leave my name out of your tale. It is nothing to be remembered for. Understood. Perhaps it would work better as a song. I dabbled in verse as a youth. It may be time to lift the pen again. But what story shall I write? The full truth of this thing may be hard to fathom. Give them a comforting one about heroes and monsters. For the truth, the bone-cold truth of everything is... Often hard to take. It cuts like a cruel north wind on the neck. God saves us all, A4. I take my leave now, but will write to you once my poem is complete. Farewell. Thank you, and farewell to you too, Wolfilda. Make it a good tale.